want to do Teshuvah in these days, and we want to get Kapara for our Averot, for our sins. Now, to get Kapara, the Yankud, the Midrash tells us, Yakut Shimoni says, the best Kapara a person can bring himself is through learning Torah. And a person should know that even many, the Gemara says, many uh, Korbanot, the Midrash says, many Korbanot, they cannot get full kapara for sins, but whatever the, uh, the korbanot, the sacrifice, they cannot get an atonement for, Torah can get the atonement for. So a person has to try to learn more this coming year. If he learns one page a day, he should learn two. If he learns for 10 minutes, he should try to learn for 20 minutes. If he learns one chapter, he should learn two chapters. He should try to always grow in the amount of Torah he learns. He's ta- Hashem told King David, that I prefer one day of your Torah learning more than a thousand of the sacrifices King Solomon is going to give. Therefore, that we say in the prayers every day, right? That the uh, that the Hashem Baruch Hu prefers Yom Echad Bechati Me'alef, right? One day I in my Bechatzerecha, right? One day in your courtyard, I, I Hashem prefers one day with King David than all the thousand of the sacrifices that the Hashem Baruch Hu receives from King Solomon. The Midrash says that we also have to make sure that we are at peace with one another. The Gemara Sefer Rosh Hashanah Daf Yudzayin says, whoever is Ma'avir Amidotav. Whoever goes and is very easy going with himself, other people, he doesn't take insult, he doesn't hold a grudge, he forgives, he gives mehila. If he's forgiving, Hashem is also going to be forgiving with you. But if Has Hashem, you're, you hold a grudge and you don't forgive, and you say, No, I'm not Mohair. Too bad. I don't talk to this person. That's it. I, 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 sent, him the, I sent him the other way. A person says, No, Has Hashem, the way we act with others, how God is Baruch going to act with us. So therefore, Hashem Has Hashem could be very strict with us. So therefore, a person has to be not achzari. The Rambam says in the second chapter of the you have to be not cruel. You have to be forgiving and merciful. Now, the Midrash says that uh, in the end of days, Akadosh Baruch Hu is going to want to bring Mashiach. And that all the prosecuting angels are going to say, yeah, but the Jewish people sin. They don't deserve Mashiach. So then Abraham is going to come. He's not going to be able to answer. Yitzhak is going to come. He's not going to be able to answer. Yeah. Yaakov, Avinu you know, is not going to be able to answer. Who's going to come and answer? Yeah. Rachel. Rachel is going to come and answer. What is she going to say? She's going to say, Akadosh Baruch Hu, I forgave my sister Leah. I let her have my husband. You also can forgive Akadosh Baruch Hu to the Jewish people. So therefore you see the power of Mechila, the power of forgiving another person. This is what gives us the whole Gerula. This is what gives us the whole Yeshua. So therefore a person has to make sure if anybody has problems with somebody else, the Gemara Sech Yuma Dafehe says that Yom Kippur, will, Hashem will not forgive you. For between the sins of a man and his friend, if one, the man and his friend do not make up, if they do not forgive each other. So therefore, even if you go and pray all you want, Yom Kippur, if you do not call that person and ask for Mechila, don't wait for them to call you and say, oh, it's my cover, they have to call me, they did to, no. Even if they don't call you, you should go out of the way and call them and speak to them. Don't send them a text message that everybody forwards, everybody sends the same text message over and over again. Please forgive me if anything. And it's not a real apology. A real apology is like a man face to face or at least on the phone, voice to voice, to hear and say, listen, whatever it was, we're all Am Israel, we all are in the same boat, we're, we're, we're brothers, we're all the same bobo, let's go, Abraham, Yitzhak, Yaakov, let's go and make, make, make amends, make peace. And B'shut this, Hashem will forgive us also on Yom Kippur. But a person who should not be cruel and, and, and not forgive, yes, the Rambam says a person asks for forgiveness and he doesn't forgive you one time, two times, three times. Once you ask three times, you're not obligated to ask anymore. But a person should not be like that. A person should not uh, say, I don't forgive more than three times. You should, uh, you should be forgiving. If Hashem want, you want Hashem to be forgiving to you, you also have to be forgiving to other people. And only B'shut this, we will get the Geulah. So therefore, a person has to make sure to call anybody he had a fight with before Yom Kippur in order to be able to get fully forgiven. Not just between the sins, between us and Hashem, for also the sins between us and another person. There's a wonderful story of the altar from Kelm, Allah Shalom, of Simcha Zissel. He used to say, one of the great Musar giants, he called his son over in, in the, right, around these days, and he said to his son, look outside, what do you see? And he saw these little kids playing outside. You see the kids playing with the igrushki, with the toys? Yeah. And he says, now look at the other window. And he said, the other window, he saw an, a, a guy talking about his wagon, he saw another guy talking about his watch, and he said, you see, they're also playing with the igrushki. They're also playing with their toys. <laughs> Meaning to say that a person has to focus what's important in their life, and start focusing on it now, and make sure that we don't get carried with the toys. If you don't learn to put away the toys at the right time, when you're little, you'll be still be busy with the toys when you're older, with the cars, the watches, and the restaurants, and all this stuff, and therefore it'll be harder to separate when you're older. So therefore we should learn to put away the toys and do the Shuvah.